Karen Bradrick, Senior Counsel at NEO Law Group in San Francisco. In this video on tips for starting a nonprofit, we'll be talking about whether an organization can fundraise while it's waiting to hear back on an application for tax exemption. If you've already filed with the IRS, you're likely to face a waiting period of at least one year, or maybe even longer if the application has any complications or requires further review. In light of this waiting period, which is largely outside of the organization's control, many nonprofits wonder if they're able to fundraise while they're waiting to hear back from the IRS. Here are a few things you'll want to consider. If your organization is able to self-declare without filing an application for exemption, but you've decided to file anyway, you generally may fundraise as an exempt organization before you hear back from the IRS, although certain donors and foundations may wish to wait to receive the determination letter before giving to the organization. On the other hand, if your organization is required to apply for exemption, you're still technically able to fundraise while in the process of getting your tax-exempt status, but there are a few things you'll want to keep in mind. While your exempt status is pending, you should inform any donors that the organization is not yet exempt and that exemption for a 501c3 organization will be retroactive to the date of the organization's incorporation if the application was filed within 27 months of formation. But donations are not currently tax deductible and there's always a small risk that the application may not be approved. You should also be aware that many foundations and institutional funders prefer to see proof of exempt status before providing funding to a nonprofit. Many state agencies, such as the Secretary of State or the Attorney General's Office, also require organizations to register before soliciting charitable funds, and you should confirm any such registration requirements. If your organization is in a rush to fundraise or you risk losing a certain source of funding if you don't receive an exemption determination by a certain date, you may want to include an expedite request in your application to the IRS or consider other alternatives, such as working with an existing organization or fiscal sponsorship. We hope that this has been helpful and stay tuned for our next video on tips on starting a nonprofit.